For this exercise, you'll need uh, a couple pairs of needle nose pliers, a small and a big one, or if you got two small ones, that'll work best. Um, a couple flathead standard screwdrivers, a couple Phillips screw, uh, screwdrivers, and then a T25 Torx bit. Um, and then I have this box cutter. I uh, use the razor blade as a pick to, to pick out some of the uh, uh, screw covers. All right, so seat cover or seat cushion is removed. It's got the foam in here, and you can tell my foam is not in the best condition. Uh, specifically, the, the driver's side, you know, the side that faces the door. It's got a lot of wear. Um, you got to uh, thread these wires out through the holes. Uh, and that's the bottom. They actually came out this hole right down here. Or maybe it was this one. It was this one. This hole. Um, That's how you put it all back together too. So now we are at this point. You would, at this point, you remove, you push this, you flip this inside out, and you kind of just lift it up off this foam. All right. So here's how it looks after you get it off the seat cushion off. Um, and you've rolled all the. You just roll this up. Attached, you know, here, over here, and in each one of the crease, each one of the creases. Um, you know, plastic clips. When you're reinstalling, you just push them down, and they kind of hook. Um, you'll see. But this is what you got to make sure you got to do with the the wires. Um, if you're un uninstalling, you obviously pull them out. If you're reinstalling, you got to push them back in. Make sure they go in there. Doesn't need any locations. So when you order your new seat cover, it'll come looking like this. Uh, this right here is the heated seat version, and uh, right in here's what it looks like from the top. Um, a, lot, a lot, these are pretty expensive new, so I bought it used, and it has a little bit of a imperfection. Um, also, you'll notice. Pardon me, that the middles on this are perforated, and that is because this is actually a leatherette seat cover, so AKA mostly vinyl. Um, so I'm a little bummed about that because it was sold to me as a leather seat cover. Um, so what the bottom looks like. As for if we look at my old seat cover, um, the bottoms are not perforated, and it's real leather. And part of the reason you can tell that is because you can see the fibers. leather looks like this. And the back of the leatherette or vinyl looks like this. Um, fortunately I don't have a good camera right now, so it's just a cell phone camera, so I apologize for the quality. I'll do some after uh, video editing on it to make it a little bit better, but better as best as I can. This is my this is heat seat. Um, you'll have to reuse these clips. This is on the old seat cover. Um, you don't have to reuse these uh, bars, but you'll have to reuse the clips. This plug, the plugs at the back, right there. This that's the heat seat plug. Um, it has this, so you have to have to remove it. Um, these clips, as you can see, right, they work. There's a bar, and it sits right in that hook, 
So you have to either push the seat down so it comes out of the hook or lift the bar up and then push it over towards this tab and move this tab out. Um, the best way I found to do this was to take a screwdriver and come in, come into here and kind of bend this tab out a little so that you have some extra room. And um, for a while there, I was actually having to use two screwdrivers, one to help lift the bar out of the hook, and another one to help open this tab. And then once you get it out, you can kind of lift it up a little. But OK, so to show you what I mean, the seat cover will be sitting on the seat like this. And these tabs will be sitting in these in these creases, just so you can kind of see. Um, and in these creases of the suit uh, seat cushion are bars, right? This is where the one towards this is the seat bolster. This is the heated seat bolster, um, and they're like glued on. This is where that one goes, this is the middle one, and this is the other one. And these are in the seat cushion, so you can't rip them out. Or else you just destroyed your seat cushion. This is the middle one, same thing. And the front one uh, is right here. Same, same deal. So let me go through how you, how you remove this. It's sitting on here. Um, Right, and this will be once you get the seat cushion off. You take, you know, this will be around the side like this, and you just lift it up and kind of turn it inside out like I have it. And then what you'll do is you have to start from the front. Well, I guess you don't have to, um, but I did for because this part back here was kind of glued on, um, and I didn't know how it was attached. So I went ahead and started from the front. If you now that you, now that I have this video and I've done it, you could probably start from the back and it actually might be easier because there's less distance between here and there. But I start from the front. Um, and I just flip you know you flip the front up like this and you have to flip this up, the heated seat front part up too. Sorry um, about this camera angle. Uh, and you'll have the, those three clips in there. Um, I went ahead and undid those three clips first. And I got it up a little further. Um, but you'll see that these prongs, they go in to right, right down there. And they hook around. Um, so you won't be able to lift it up too far. Um, so the way I undid those, and I guess there's no specific best way to do this. I just undid, I undid this first bar first, um, and then I undid these two sides. Um, and the way I did that is I spun the cushion around, and I used, and it's hooked in back here too. On, Which can't see. Let's remove that um, back here. So here's the most, the rearmost uh, crease. Back here, even further. Um, which can't see it. There it is. Right down there is where the rear hook of the seat cover sits. So what I did, I took my needle nose. Um, this is why it's nice to have two small ones. Put a needle nose on on the one down here in the seat cushion, and I put a needle nose on the end of this, and I moved them, you know, towards each other because you can see um, on this here there's a little bit of a gap that you can do if you move to get it out. So I got the rear one out first. 
And then after I got the rear one out first, I shoved it forward and worked the front one off of its clip, which is up here. Um, now to show you. It's right here where my finger is. Um, but you'll you'll see when you get it off. Um, and then I did the same thing on the other side. And once I had that off, I was able to flip the seat cover up a little more to get to the second row. Oh, I'm sorry. Get to the second row. It took that, worked all those off, and I worked the third row off. Um, with this video. I imagine it'll take you a, co a couple hours. Um, it took me somewhere around four or five hours just to do this step because I was going very carefully. I didn't want to rip the seat cushion because I don't have a good replacement handy. Um, now that you know what you're in for, it should go a little faster. Oh, I forgot to mention, um, these side rails are attached to this right here. So these side rails have a hole in them and they have this clip. And this clip is pushed shut all the way so I used the needle nose and pried it open a little bit just enough because I plan on having to reuse it that I could thread it through like a key ring off of this bar down there and then did the same thing on the other side because there's two of them. And then I was able to lift this this side out. I, I forgot that step. Um, I might even not put it back in because it's such a pain in the butt. Um, so it's in the side. So you've got a clip. So you've got the front of that side thing towards the front of the seat right here. Then you've got it uh, attached in the back back here as well. And then it's also attached right here. On, and then this is on both sides like this. And then you've got a clip right here, right here, and over here, right there, right there, and right there, and right there, right there, and right there. And after you get all those off, the middle ones are these pla are those plastic thingies. These plastic thingies. The end ones, the front and the back are this rod. And then in the middle, right about here, is where the uh, circle these things are. And once you get those all off, you can get the skin off. And then you've got your seat cushion all by itself. Now it's time to put it all back in and I'm going to, you know, the install is reverse the removal and uh, I will show you uh, once it's all finished.